Glory be to God. This is Prophet Joel of the CSJ Maranatha Ministry. I want to welcome all the viewers that you're about to watch this program of the message that you're about to listen to. I thank God for this opportunity and for this platform that the Lord has made available for me to share with you the word of the living God. And I believe this word that you're about to listen will transform and change your life for good. And uh, I invite you to invite someone also to listen to you this word of God because it's life changing. Because God is about to do something glorious into your life. And I believe your life will never be the same again. So tune in and the Lord shall bless you. So you fight. Because this one is a stranger. Until that one be come like you. You will always be in fight. One has to be like the other. And the one who has to be like you. Has to have the spirit of Christ. When the two of you can have the same spirit. Then unity come in a place. And prosperity enter in a place. There is no prosperity among two people who fight in the house. When this one speak the language of prosperity the other one is speaking a different language therefore two people speaking different language a thing can never be established this one is willing to break territory but the other one is just waiting for this one to look at her or to look at him or to feel compassionate and yet this one his spirit is already lightened it is an injustice. Let it change today. When this one is getting elevated and the other one is distracted, when this one is praying, the other one is drinking, when this one is worshiping, the other one is watching movies. Two people who are supposed to be one, but they are carrying different kind of the spirits. How can you prosper when two people in the house speaking two different languages? You are outside looking for money. When you come back, she starts fighting you. What is this? I'm fighting for you. I risk my life outside for you. I was almost dying to feed you. And I'm coming back at home for you to receive me where you are doing it. Killers of prosperity. Killers of abundance. They are those ones that we have every day next to us. Because they can't speak the language that you are speaking. But today, let there be a change. I say, let there be a change. 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 Because Adam received the spirit. But Eve also, you are supposed to have the same spirit like Adam. This one wants to build. And the other one is destroying. Ladies and gentlemen, it is never a man who builds a home. You are making a mistake. It is never written that the man will build the home. It is a woman who is supposed to build the home. And when God gives you wisdom, you are going to build that house from today. I say you are going to build that house. It is a woman who beautify a family. Excellence. Spirit in a woman beautify and bring wealth in the home. An excellent spirit in a woman. It will not take you two years for you to be the next in the Forbes. It will not take you two years for you to make it in this world. When the spirit of excellence is in a woman, the woman will push you high. A woman who sees things in a different way. A woman who understands things in a different way. A woman who sees the best out of you. 
mbaya anachukua vyema a woman who can see who you are today but she's able to see you tomorrow that is the woman i'm talking about if i have such woman in maranatha right now say yes now it is a mistake for a man to look for love in the restaurants looking for love when he's with friends that's the time he's feeling peaceful but when he finds his way at all he knows there's trouble because trouble will catch me in the gates she will start at the door two people but different spirits but different do you know excellency has the power to chase away even sin ah jesus christ you know excellence has the capacity even to rebuke uncleanness let me, let me give an example you buy a brand new suit which is white a nice suit which you bought almost two thousand dollars and you're in the white walking and you found a child who was very dirty coming and hugging you what will be your reaction hey. excellence has the capacity to chase uncleanness you come in your house you bought your best clean and white carpet and you want to bring friend over and the friend that you are bringing the drink you make sure they are not on your carpet which you bought expensive and white you make sure they are away from the place where you made sure it is clean excellence has the capacity to chase away sin away from you that's what the bible says he has given us the spirit of excellence when you enter into a place and there is excellence ah. excellence in your life excellence in your look excellence in your speech excellence in your car excellence in your work excellence in your career the Bible says a man who is skillful in his work he will minister to king and not to mere men. If you want to minister to great men in life you must be skillful in what you do. That's when excellence has to enter your spirit. Excellence has to enter your life. Ah. There are some job web and when you are looking for it they say you are not the kind of people we are looking for. You are too high for the position we are about to give you it is the excellent spirit when joseph entered into a place his wisdom was higher than the king it is the excellent spirit wherever every place you enter because you are excellent everyone has to be submit to your intelligence i call it the dominion spirit when you carry excellence you and i you can agree in, in every party when you enter the one who look more flashy is the one everyone will look at because if he's looking shiny everyone will look at that person she will or he will be the attraction of the eyes of people excellence will attract the right people in your life listen excellence Excellence in your business. Uh, you see, Christians they build business just anyhow. They make marriage just anyhow. You see, women they sleep just anyhow. With torn clothes and I don't know shirts how. And you are expecting excellence to that man. You are wearing much of your clothes where but finish all the colors that is the clothes you sleep with next to your man a torn vest what activation are you activating they are quiet 
na tena tumeketi what activation are you activating hiyo ni roho gani unaleta are you activating sorrow in the person unaleta uchafu ndani are you preaching to the person you are too broke for you to buy me a clothes unamhubiria kwamba wewe zinidunulia because any action you do ana kile unafanya it is a preaching basi nimahubiri to the person who is next to you kwa yule ambaye yuko karibu na wewe excellence utimilifu in the house katika nyumba is an attraction of glory when you are going to sleep wear your best pajama wear like a king and wake up like a king oh i know you how you sleep that's why you are not saying amen excellence bring life inaleta usima excellence Timilifu kwa usafi brings glory na leta utukufu into a place katika mahali eh lugha wende wake up angalia vile unaamka eh i don't know how nywele sijui imeshikana na kitanda they are, they are grabbing their slippers unavuruta slippers na hata zimepasuka and by that time they put like and they call it what leso leso na sasa hiyo umevaa leso imeandikwa kila mtu na shida zake huko duniani Now you and I even if you fast how Sasa, can that man like you Ukifunga ukifunga atakupenda namna gani Because the day you met him Man wakati mlikutana why, why you walking like that Ulikuwa unatembea ukivuruta miguu When you met him ulipokutana na huyo mwanamke You are I mean shining Ulikuwa unangaa You are like a star Ulikuwa nyu But now you have gotten degree and you got PhD Sasa. You have reached the highest level of masters Sasa umehitimu umepata degree And that was some women Christians Ndio maana wa Kristo anaona They know that uh, this husband is already a Christian he prays to Maranatha so he cannot cheat Huyu jamaa anaomba kule Maranatha So even if I address any how I know he will not go anywhere Nikiva vile nataka sengenge ni ngombe hakuna mali ataenda So you are taking advantage of that man Sasa unamtumia vibaya na hiyo ni uchawi Thank you Yeah it's witchcraft papa Thank you Me sometimes I tell mama, "Eh, hey, you don't you don't put makeup just to go out. You Baba, put makeup for me in the house. Let Baba, me just see your makeup." Baba anamwambia mama yangu, "Vaa makeup tukiwa nyumbani." Yo, because these things are putting makeup just because you want to go out, you want to put makeup. No. You are putting makeup for me in the house. Ataiva akiwa nyumbani. Let me show your makeup. Watch and see. Asad yes. Why every time you want to look nice is when you are going out. Ile unataka kuwa vizuri ni wakati unatoka. When you want to shower is the time you want to go out. Unataka kuoga ni wakati unatoka. That is another place. Hiyo ni mali pengine mali ya kuoga passport hiyo. It is a wrong attitude. Ni, ni, so that means the whole day if you have any place you want to go, mali popote unataka kwenda. You be stingy, I mean you smelly. Unanukia una With your morning some of you even you brush at 3 pm when you want to think maybe you want to eat that's the time you want to brush Woman No one they can come near you Ndio maana sikukaribii He can't approach you Hawezi akakukaribia You have no excellence Hauna utimilifu wa usafi And I'm telling you for true Nakwambia utapitia as much when you put black no I want to say black makeup hey, no. <laughs> as much you put makeup hata ukiva makeup you are ugly wewe ni mchafu tena sura mbaya a man in every man there is a kingly spirit in him ndani ya kila mwanaume kuna ufalme and every king like excellence na kila mfalme anapenda utimilifu wa usafi and the moment you start exhibiting it na ukianza kuionyesha what you are doing you are pulling the kingly spirit out of that man ile unafanya unavuta ufalme ndani yake he will build you places that look like a palace and a royal place atakujengea ikulu zimepita za marais because you are like a queen ana wewe ni malkia wewe rembeka maranata lady say yes I know you are saying attack the men as well. No. Yeah, we are, we are, we are <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you know a house can tell the spirit of a person? 
the decoration in the house of a person tell the spirit of a person things around that person can tell the spirit in that person the moment you start beautifying your spirit everything around you shall be beautified when you beautify yourself and that business also shall be beautified even if you have a small kiosk you sell a small things but the way you perfected the place must be clean it must be nice it must be glorious doing your things must be nice now let me go to a deeper place how are you able to bring life now to the person or to the thing that seems to be dead. Do you want it? Yes, sir. Do you want it? Yes, Papa. Now, when Eve was inside of Adam, God sent Adam, right? And formed him. We can see that the flesh did not come from God. It came from the earth. So the flesh is the only thing in a man that didn't come from God. But it was something made by God. The only things in a man that came directly from God it is his spirit. And when the Bible says he made us in his likeness he's not talking about your head. He's not talking about your look. He's not talking about how you put your look alike. But the likeness the Bible is talking about it is your spirit. It is your spirit that look like God. Say yes. So when we are created, that's why it is a spirit that is created. But it is a flesh that is made. So the spirit was created. And whatever that is created has the capacity to build something else. <laughs> Don't lose this. So your flesh has no capacity to create. That's why you see people who create events. Those who create things, they create it in a space where it is an imagination place. But it is a connection of their spirit. So until your spirit is active, you cannot create anything around you. That's why you cannot make your life right until you change your way of thinking in the realm of the spirit. That's why school cannot change your life. Master cannot change your life. Until your spirit is fully educated, then you'll be able to create what the life you want to see. Are you seeing that? Yes, sir. So my spirit has the capacity to create because I am made in the likeness of God. So I have the ability that which God created Adam to create something else. Okay, let me show you some, somebody is, uh, is doubting. Adam Adam was alive. And when God desired to make somebody like him, the Bible says he made sure Adam to go to a deep, not just a sleep, a deep spirit. That's been in the realm of imagination. Into a deep sleep. Whereby even if they slap you, you can't wake up. And ladies and gentlemen, every time you sleep and you dream a... Ah. Can I tell you this secret? Every time you sleep and you go to a deep sleep, God is working to pull something out of you. That is the reason when there was storm and the disciples were with Jesus and the Bible said while the storm was there the noise was there but Jesus was in a deep sleep. 
what Jesus was doing while he was asleep the spirit of God was working already the anointing when I wake up I will command the wind. When I wake up, I'll command the storm. When I wake up, I'll command the situation. And yet the people who are awake, they could not stop the storm. But the man who was asleep, ah, listen, that's why you wonder some people, they sleep. But in a day, they are so peaceful. They are so blessed. They have everything. But you, you are working from Monday to Monday. You can't even reach the place the person has reached. Let me give you an example. Bill Gates today. Bill Gates. Even if he sleep, money is working for him. Why? He wants, he wants, went into a deep sleep. Oh. The deep sleep I'm talking about, he exposed himself to the realm of imagination. Whereby his spirit get to the place to release that which is carried. Hey. Okay, okay. It's, uh, let, let, me, let me help you to understand. When you sleep, when you wake up, you dream, isn't it? For those who dream, huh? you dream, isn't it? Answer me, church. You dream. We dream, Papa. So when you wake up, you dream. Now, for you to interpret that dream, it seems to be so difficult. And yet, when you give it time, that dream will come to pass in another way, in another form. But you're like, ah, I dreamt of this dream. So, in another word, your spirit communicated a message of what you could see. But your flesh is too weak. You cannot capture, understand the things of the spirit. That's what the Bible said. The flesh and the spirit they are continuously in war. In war, they fight. They can't understand until the day your flesh submits to the spirit. Then the spirit can communicate everything, and the flesh can capture and bring it to resonance. And this is the key about the prophetic. When we prophesy, we hear the spirit, and the flesh is able to capture because we subdue this flesh to the spirit within. So when I can hear God and I can communicate what He says, that's when the flesh is submissive to my spirit. So when you wake up and you can't interpret your dream, that's when your flesh has not had the capacity to interpret that which the spirit has communicated. Some of you dreamt you saw or you are touching millions and you woke up. There is no money. You went out that day. Maybe you will catch up with that money. No money. The spirit told you the secret on how you can catch that money. But your flesh did not catch it. Thank you. So you are able to create anything the spirit reveals to you. That's why I say, as long as you can see, you shall have it. I think my church uh, do I have church here? Do I have church here? Do you have church here? As long as I can see, then I can have it. When God saw Abraham was failing, his faith was also more falling. He said, Adam, hey, Abraham, sorry. Abraham, come out of your tent. Some of you, you need to come out of your tent. He said, come out of the tent. And to do what? When he came out, he said, look up. And looked up. And he said, all these stars, I will make your seat like them. I receive as long as I can see the stars that means every born seed of me will be like the stars and the thing is the star is never low but the star is always placed on top so what God was telling you everything you shall give back shall not be low but shall be higher can you say higher higher Say higher. Higher. Hey. So 
as long as I see the stars, then the stars are mine. What can you see? With your spirit, but not with your flesh. Not with your flesh, but with your spirit. In a deep sleep, I spare you from another knowledge, not for today. <laughs> because that one is another level. From a deep sleep, God was able, no, don't miss this. God was able to pull Eve. Your, your Eve. Eve Yako. Yeah. Every time you want to marry, go to a deep sleep. You will see the right woman of your life and the right man of your life. Lala. I'm telling you, even her, this beautiful lady I have here. Wait, let, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Well, to God be the glory. I believe the message has been a blessing to your life, and I believe God has brought a lot of insight into your life. And I believe surely God has done something amazing in your life. But I want you to be a part of this wonderful move that God is doing in our midst. And you might be there, touched by God. You have listened to this word of God. I believe this word is yours. Don't wait to call. There are numbers there. Call us. Come. If you want to encounter God, come and God shall touch you. Is there any problem that you're encountering? Be it in your business, be it in your finances, be it in your marriage, be it in your ministry, in any area. There is a God I serve and is a living God. He's about to change your life and touch you for good. We are, locat we are located in Likoni Road on Road A. Of Likoni Road on Road A. We are here on the services of Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And the Lord is going to bless you abundantly. All the services are just there, figuring in front of you there. Please call us and be a part of this blessing. And the Lord is going to do amazing things in your life. May God bless you. And I believe this blessing shall be.